working with some Conte products today, uh, namely sketching crayons and uh, sketching pencils as well. And I'm going to start with some Sanguine. I like using these. They sort of remind me of, really of my grad school days and college days. We certainly in figure drawing classes and beginning drawing classes, we just used so many drawing products and Conte was always one that was present. Um, and I'm just blocking in big areas of the sanguine. It's nice. It moves very easily across the paper. You can fill in big areas. It's got these, uh, you know, it comes in a square. Uh, this, this four sides here, and I can just really block in big, big areas. And it's kind of one of the things I always learned, and, and when I taught drawing as well, was the idea of working sort of general to specific. Um, so I'm making big general marks here, just getting big ideas stated. And then what I'll do is I'll switch up and I'll come in with the sketching uh, crayons and I've got a sepia here so now I can take what I've got going in here and be able to kind of come in and firm up some things. I could always erase later on but that it's, it's not something I'm concerned with right now. I'm not being picky about it. Um, just being able to come back and make some marks that firm up some of the things that I laid in with the sanguine. There's 14 sketching crayons in the range and then we've got a range of traditional and unique sketching pencils as well. I'm going to get into a little bit more of those in a second. So you can start to see the figure in this case, the portrait I should say, starting to pop out a little bit more. And with a sketching pencil I just have a little bit more control. And I can really begin to block that in. Then I like to go in here with, actually I'm going to pick up the white and when I come back in with that, I can also blend right in here too. So if I want to get softer things going on, or if I want to come back in maybe with the sepia over here, sanguine rather, right there, I can come back in with the white and start to blend a little bit more. And if I want to get into something quite unique to the Conte range, which is the Pierre Noir, it really gives you a deep, dark, almost like a velvety black. And I can come back in here now and... We'll state the eyes a little bit more. We'll make them looking over to the side, let's say. So this really, look how that pops out from everything else. Really comes in there. You don't want to be too heavy-handed with it because it just it goes so far. It almost reminds me of if I'm painting and using a really, really strong color like a, a phthalo blue. It goes super, super far. This goes really far, too. Look how deep and dark I can get with that. Really nice, old things start to happen. Can firm up everything a little bit more in a very short amount of time. Can start to get a, a, a likeness that starts to happen here. All these work really nice together. They all blend together nicely. And I'll come back in as just a final thing in this quick little sketch here. Come back in with the white one more time. And again, you can see there with the Pierre Noir how nicely that blends too. If I want to get areas to work together build back on top if I want to do that again with the sanguine. And I can keep going and keep going and utilize all these things to really come up with a beautiful drawing in the end, uh, given more time.